hello welcome back to my channel um if you have not watched part one please go watch part one we are wrapping up the reveal and review of taraji p henson's tph by taraji um i got a quick demo of using the styling products as well as a little bit of chat at the end so if you want to hear about my overall feelings about the product let's go hey what's up what's up okay so let's get started we're gonna be starting off with the smooth attitude product that is the hair milk also we're gonna be using the hot commodity which is the heat protectant um, I have the rod or die which is a detangling leave-in my water bottle which I absolutely love if you guys do not have one of these bottles they are amazing basically they just missed it's a mist bottle just missed everywhere water everywhere just just for moisturizing sake <laughs> love this bottle got it off amazon um rat tail comb is that rat tail and then this amazing brush that i got off of amazon as well another little hard brushel brush and my blow dryer um it has a nice comb in it and which one is this this one is like golden hot Okay, as you can see, demonstrating a little bit of this shrinkage, which is crazy. But of course, shrinkage means healthy hair. So, going through, wetting my hair back down, and I am just going to blow dry my hair. Um, starting first with the Smooth Attitude products. Again, love the product packaging. Using a little bit on my hair as an extra moisturizer. The back of this says almost too smooth. Smooth Attitude is a versatile milky cream formula that takes sophisticated and sleek approach to flyaways and unruly hair. After that, we are spraying on Hot Commodity, which is a hardworking heat protectant to shield, soften, and prevent. This is for all hair types. Brushing it through with my detangling brush getting ready to use my blow dryer to um, basically do a quick blowout on my hair. Still not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with this, this style, but I do know I wanted to blow my hair out, stretch it a little bit for the next style. So the heat protectant says, turn up the heat. Hot commodity dares you to turn it up a notch. This heat protectant primes hair for thermal styling and acts as protective coat from the drying and damaging effects of blow drying and flat ironing hair. Give us what you got. All right, it says mist generously over damp hair before heat styling. This, this product, I will say, is vegan, cruelty-free, SLS, SLES free, um, paraben free, and mineral oil free. So after we got this section blowed out, looking pretty smooth, um, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell um, as I braid this piece down, but my hair has a little bit of a shine to it, which I think is really cool. Um, the products added a little bit of shine to my hair. And at this point, hair's feeling real good. I'm trying to show off a little bit of that shine with that braid. Okay, we're gonna braid those two together to get them out of the way. Um, the next section on my hair, I did the same thing. Um, Give you a little demo of the heat protectant. Like any demo, um, it's pretty thick so it can stick to the hair, which I appreciate. Um, I also, on one of these sections, which you won't see here, I use the Ride or Die, the detangling leave-in conditioner. And man, I feel like I used the product wrong. I shouldn't have used it. I felt the heaviness of the products, all three products on my hair. Um, and yeah, shouldn't use that. Trying to finish up on the next section. Man, y'all know blowing out hair is a lot of work. If you got a little bit of hair past your ear, a little bit more than an average kind of short bob, hair is kind of thick, mixed textures, you know that this is, this is some work. So again, dampening my hair with my mister, a little bit of the smooth attitude for moisture. And then we'll go back over that with the hot commodity. 
little dranky drink. Okay, no, I'm tripping. It's not a dranky drink. It really is like sweet tea with a little simple lemonade mixed in with it. All right, so let's get this part blow dried um, and stretched out so we can be ready to decide what we're gonna do. Oh, I forgot to detangle right here. Detangling is so important. I love this brush. I'm gonna try to find a link to the brush when I bought it. It is by, it's called Careco, K-A-R-E-C-O. I love this brush. It's wide, it has a sturdy handle and um, I can take with me in the shower. It's really easy to clean. So when you have um, your um, hair that kind of comes out, when you detangle, what is a hair called? I'm drawing a blank. Anyway, when you have shed hair, there we go. Boom, shed hair. When you have shed hair that comes out when you detangle, this, um, this is really good. It's really easy to clean. I usually just run my rat tail comb through the, um, in between the chambers to pull out the shed hair and it's good to go. All right, so we are finished with our blowout and now we're just trying to decide, okay, now that we got all this hair blown out, what are we gonna do with it? Um, I can tell the side of my hair is a little bit heavier than the other side. That's where I use the Ride or Die product with the Smooth Attitude and the Hot Commodity product. A little bit too much product. Okay, so here we are. I decided to do a braid out, combing through the hair. Look at all these colors. Like, why do I do this? I am not a professional stylist. Should not be dyeing my hair, especially with this gray. Um, a little bit more of the Smooth Attitude product since we're gonna braid it out. Wanna see if this product is gonna give us a little bit of definition. I do have the product Tough Cookie, but I decided not to use Tough Cookie on my braid out, especially um, after I took a little bit of time and watched some of the videos that some of my sisters on YouTube have done, I decided to opt out of doing the Tough Cookie using that as the braid out. Now here I am using the Slick, which is the edge control treatment. It says tame, silk, and hold. It's for curly and coily hair. Got my little edge control brush, found that on Amazon too. Oh, I'm like an Amazon junkie. Everything is Amazon, right? Smooth down these edges a little bit, just so that when I tie my hair down tonight, you know, things can lay flat. I opted out of putting like the rollers at the end. Just gonna do a straight look and see what happens. Tying it down with a um, cotton or cloth bandana. Again, you know I break the rules. You know it's supposed to be like a satin scarf or something, some scarf or something. I put my bonnet on after that. Deuces, I'm going to bed. Good morning. Okay, so we're up early, getting ready for the day, taking the braid out down, and my hair is completely dry. Edge control really didn't hold down these edges. Um, and I see a little bit of definition from the braid out, but not a whole lot of definition. My hair is super soft, still feels really moisturized, um, still has a little bit of shine to it. So in order to maintain um, a little bit of the definition and hopefully not get too frizzy, I use jojoba oil um, on my fingers to take down the braid out. So we're gonna go through this braid by braid and take them down. Of course, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching their whole process. Braid outs take a long, down, a long time to put up and a long time to take down. So we're just gonna do one or two right here and then we're gonna move on to the next um, phase. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna finish taking this down, finish up this beat, and post a couple of pictures. So here we are, out and about, results of my hair, the braid out. I got a lot of compliments on it. Hair was feeling really good. I thought it was kind of cute, but let's chat. Okay, so this is what um, you saw in the last video. The first thing I did was um, wash and cleanse my hair with the products as I did in part one video. If you haven't seen part one, hop back on my channel, watch the first part, 
then come back and watch this part. So after I washed and cleansed my hair with the products, um, I sectioned them off and blow dried them. Now when I blow dried my products, I detangled and I used the Smooth Attitude product. I used the Smooth Attitude product and then I also used, not that one, <laughs> I also use the high commodity. The high commodity, this product is the one that is like the heat protectant. Um, so overall, I feel like after I blow dry my hair all the way through, um, my mane felt very, very moisturized. I felt like I used too much product. I felt like I probably should have just used the high commodity heat protectant on my hair, um, blow dried it out, and it would have been fine using both these in combination. And then even at a one moment, I used um, this product, the Ride or Die, I used it like on one section. All together, putting them all together, it's way too much product. Heat protectant, blow it out, probably would have been good. So what I decided to do was do a braid out um, since my hair was so moist, not, um, like heavy like it didn't feel weighed down but it did feel like i had product in my hair did feel moisturized braided my hair up took it down this morning and went out for the day so it was a windy day and as you can see i am very very frizzy i'm not, let me make sure i'm very frizzy like i still have a little bit of definition in a couple of places um, my hair, when I put the hot commodity in and the smooth move, um, my hair was not like wet. So what I will say is this, pro well, first, this product is not, um, it doesn't have any humectants in it from what I can understand about products. Um, it doesn't have anything that will draw moisture from the atmosphere to your hair. So that was not the problem. I think what the issue was was that I did a braid out. My hair is naturally frizzy. And um, yeah, that's basically it. A lot of times by the end of the day, my hair looks like this. Um, so again, I like this product. My hair right now feels great. It was blowing in the wind. I was like gone with the wind, fabulous. I got so many compliments on my hair today. But again, um, when trying to, I guess, get something with definition, this is not the product you use for definition. Um, I'm not sure what the product you would use in this line is for definition. But I will tell you this. I styled my hair previously to doing this recording. And I used this product. This is Tough Cookie. There is a lot of, go lot of talk and a lot of going zone about this product. Um, on YouTube right now. And I just, I can't wait till Taraji comes out and talks about her products. Cause again, I think we were all kind of like in test markets, talks about our products, does some demonstrations, shows us how the products were actually meant to be used. Because when I use this product, I used it for a sleek style. I slick my hair up into a ponytail. I'll put a picture up. I slick my hair up into like a high ponytail. And then um, I brush through with a detangling brush with this product in it. It's actually the picture, if you go back to my first video, it's actually, um, when I did my chat then, that is actually um, Tough Cookie in my hair. So what I noticed about Tough Cookie is that it is very, very defining. My curls were popping and they were so, so shiny, right? And so I was like, yes, this is great. Tied it down, went to sleep the next night, woke up and experienced what everybody else on YouTube experienced the flakes, right? And I was like, dang, okay. Well, I know sometimes my hair is resistant to some products, you know, depending on, um, like, what, do you, what is it when YouTube, like, y'all talk about, like, porosity and is that what it is? I think it's, I don't know. But sometimes, like, if, like, if you can't do a lot of protein, I don't know. Either way it go, I know that sometimes my hair acts up with some products, right? And so my hair was super flaky. Like I could touch it and like I think um, my girl said she was like the ski slopes. Yeah, yeah. Mine wasn't that bad because I didn't attempt to undo the style. But I did notice that 
when I went in to reach at my puff, my puff was a little bit flaky. All I did was spray some water on it, dampen it up, and my curls popped right back. They popped right back to where they were. The product um, assumed its original feel. Um, I fingered through some of it and I was back out. Put a little bit of, you know, slickerization around the edges and it was good. I did that with that style for probably about four days. Completely happy getting compliments about how nice my curls look, how shiny and healthy my curls look. So um, another sister on YouTube did a video talking about the use of products and making sure that we're using products the way they are meant to be used. And I think that is so, so, so big. So um, I'm not sure of her name. I'm going to put it in the description box because I mentioned her and you should watch that video. She has not tried Taraji's products, but just as a natural sister um, and educated about some things about products, then um, she, she has some... Um, she had some good stuff that she was saying. And so I believe it. I believe when I use the Tough Cookie product, which is what I used to style my hair when I did our chat after my first video, like I said, um, yeah, I did get the flakes like everybody else. But the product renewed itself after I dampened my hair with my mister. Okay. And then using Smooth Attitude for a twist out, braid out. It might work, it might not, but it is not a heavy hold product. So expect to not get like definition and hold definition for the entire time. Again, I love this product line. From start to finish, there is something in every part of the product line that I can use and want to keep in my stash. Uh, one out of 10, I will give this product maybe an eight and a half, 8.75. And I can say that being that I never had a 10 product. Like I've never had a product line where the shampoo, the conditioner, the detangler, the moisturizer, the gel, the edge control, everything lined up beautifully. I've never had a product that was a 10 across the board. Have you had one? Let me know. Um, but what I will say is there's more in this product line that works for me than a lot of other product lines. My hair feels a lot better than in a lot of other product lines. And I like the smell. I don't know. I like the smell. It smelled good to me. I'm keeping all the products that I purchased. Um, the edge control, just let me mention the edge control. This is a baby edge control. This is not the edge control that's going to pull out your edges. It's not. It's going to give you a little bit of slickerization on the side. It's going to make your baby hair, hey, it's going to, hey, baby hair. That's about all it's going to do. It's not going to hold your life together. So don't look for the edge control to control your whole life or to control your whole style. It's going to get them little baby hairs that you want to lay right here on your forehead. Listen, a lot of my hair is gray. I don't need the baby hairs. I'm grown. But this product, I still like it. It actually has a little bit of shimmer to it. I don't know how, but I feel real shiny around my edges. So again, this me, these, I like the products, eight and a half, 8.75 out of 10, being that a 10 does not exist. And um, like I said before, these one I'm going to repurchase. They gonna, there will be in the stash. Um, I didn't try a lot of the products that she had in the red bottles. I might do that um, eventually, but at this point, I'm happy with what I have and I'm going to keep using it. Anyway, thanks so much for watching my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all of those good things. And we're going to see what Taraji says when she comes out, when she actually drops it herself and does her own demos. We're going to see what she say. You know what I'm saying? Okay. All right. Be blessed.